Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm with Rafai Bentik. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Rafai. Right, so uh, so I started playing tennis as a junior, maybe about the age of seven. Played a few, you know, under 10s, under 12s, under 14s. Wasn't, you know, the best in my age category at the time. Started playing a lot more tennis, five, six days a week. Sort of became number one in those categories. Went on to play some, some local ITF tournaments, some regional right. ITF tournaments. Today, the theme of the session is going to be dictating and playing to your strengths. So can you tell me a little bit about your game Style. I try to keep it as minimal as possible, uh, five or six shots the most, big serve, big forehand, uh, slice, try to get into the net as much as I can and uh, sort of dictate my opponent's play. Could you give me your best mental tips to help stay relaxed on the tennis court? But I think it's crucial that you accept that we make mistakes on the tennis court and then what is then defining of you is how you use that mistake and you progress from there on in. Most tennis points are, are won by errors. Right, that's so, right, that's right. So we have to accept that that's a part of the game and, uh, and, and attack the next point and try and correct what we've done wrong the last time in the right manner. Raf stated that his big strengths are his forehand and his serve. He also likes coming to the net to take time away from his opponents as well as using the slice for a variety. We're now going to do five different exercises that will fit the needs for Raf. The first exercise is going to be a basket feeding exercise. This is going to be using his forehand. We're going to be standing on the backhand side of the court. We're going to be hitting inside out and inside in forehands, looking to step forwards when he can to make sure he gathers that momentum when striking on the forehand. The second exercise is going to be a slice backhand. The goal here for the slice backhand is to make sure to keep the ball very low. If Raf is able to keep that ball low, he's more likely to get the opponent to bring the ball upwards. Therefore, he's able to move around to use his forehand to dictate. The third drill that Raf is going to be doing is hitting the forehand down the line. The goal with this forehand down the line is so that he can force his opponents to try to go cross court. And if the ball goes cross court and it's not wide enough to go to the opponent's righty's backhand, then Raf is able to use his forehand to dictate. The fourth exercise that we're going to be doing with Raf is going to be the serve plus one. And this is going to be using a flat first serve, which Raf loves to do, as well as using the kick serve wide. This is a great way for him to get involved his forehand as early as possible. The fifth and final exercise is going to be the return of serve. Raf's goal is to aim the ball deep down the middle to push his opponents behind the baseline and he's hoping that his opponents are going to hit the ball a little bit higher and slower. Therefore, he's able to run around and dictate with a forehand. Trying to create an uncomfortable position for your opponent. 
think in a match you can be quite passive, you can just go with the flow. Um, yeah, do you, do you, you feel like you're more fearless here, like you're willing to take more on? Because it's training? Definitely, yeah. And I think this is where you hold the craft, right? So, yeah. so when this, this opportunity arises in a match, you've been here before and you've done it six times. <laughs> Five times unsuccessfully. Running, running, running. Yeah, it's, it's good practice, good intensity. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with Raf. How did you feel today? Exhausted. Uh, <laughs> put me from my paces, but it was good. I think we uh, executed everything that we spoke about in the beginning, played to my strengths. Um, yeah, it was a good experience. Thank you. So you felt like the five exercises were of a benefit to your game or maybe something you could incorporate in future? Yeah, definitely. I think you've highlighted the, uh, the key areas of my game, um, the things that I use every time I play to dictate my tennis games. And um, so we sort of refined those areas and, and worked on some patterns of play. So yeah, it was good. Thank you for today, Ralph. Cheers, really you, appreciate then. that. Cheers, thank you.